Hey guys. <clears throat> well, it's Christmas Day. We finally got enough free time to come out in the shop and make a video. Which is a good thing because it's like 55 degrees out today. End of December and it's 55. So, I'm out in the shop. I got a few things to show you. Got a. Uh, Got my micrometer from my replacement micrometer from Enco. It works good, and I'll show you that. Also made a little modification to my steady rest. Kind of turned it into a combination steady rest follow rest. So we'll show you that too. All right, stay tuned. Okay, so. Enco came through with my new micrometer. The other one was uh, dead on arrival. So we got this one from SPI. And uh, it's pretty nice. It's got absolute and incremental modes. And uh, check some stuff here and see what we can see with the uh, got some standards here uh, here we go so it would be my one inch standard See how close she is. It's a little dark still in the shop because even though it's 55 out, the fluorescent lights have not cooperated. Okay, so here we are in incremental mode. Or absolute mode, rather. And uh, two ten thousandths. Could be, could be because it's still a little cold. I think these standards are calibrated for 70-something degrees. So we're pretty happy with that. I'm putting that to good use. Okay, let me show you my steady rest modification. Okay, so you can see what I've done. So I have my original steady rest here that I have been making videos about. And what I've done, as you can see right here, is I have two bolts that go into similar holes. I've tapped in uh, this area on the other side of the cross slide or the carriage rather. So this thing follows the carriage. By doing this, you can see I've installed my non-rotating jaws. By doing this, I can snug up on these two jaws, leave this one loose, and I can turn long, thin bar stock. And it works quite well. Um, as you can see, I've done some test cutting here. Focus camera. 
I don't think it's going to do it. But, um, yeah, and so now uh, with one tool I've got two devices. Now what I plan on doing is leaving this on the carriage and just unbolting my steady rest when I'm not using it. And this thing will ride along. Uh, I got no clearance issues. It doesn't doesn't come, even come close to this, so uh, it works quite well. So I'll do a little test cut and show you how it works. Hang on, let me get the camera on the tripod and uh, we'll show you how good this is. A couple of a uh, couple of strategically placed bolts, and now my steady rest is now steady rest slant follow rest, and uh, it really does work because this uh, this bar is pretty long. There's no way I would be able to turn this thing out in the middle like I'm showing you without uh, having this thing on here. So there you go. If you got uh, if you got a follow, if you got a, a steady rest and uh, no follow rest like me, you don't feel like building one from scratch. You can uh, you can make one by just bolting this thing on. Okay. Okay, there's one more little uh, shot to show you the adapter I've made um, with the steady off. These two pins locate the steady on center. In this case, I guess you'd consider it to follow. And uh, you can see that this just rides right along on the on the bed as well. So there you go. I just thought I'd share that with you. Um, if you want to turn this into a steady rest, you just unbolt these two. Take this off, put it on the other side, and then uh, use the hole down to uh, fix it to the ways. And then it's a steady. And um, of course, we have our rollers if we need them. And our fixed rubbing blocks. Is the hole down? And I use this bolt to just bolt it to that moving uh, carriage thing that I showed you. So there you go. From the Cup of Joe shop. Thanks for watching.